What's up everyone? Welcome to the part one of the series where we build an audio spectrum analyzer or audio visualization tool. So what you see here is a live stream of audio through my microphone in Python through Py Audio and then it's displayed in real time using matplotlib. So in the first video, I'm going to walk you through all the steps you need to get up to this point, getting the audio in, displaying it, and in the next video, we will look at the FFT algorithm to compute the spectrum and display it in real time. So at any point, if you guys have any kind of doubt or you don't catch up with the code, a written version of this tutorial is available on my website. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Do check it out. So first things first, for the audio part, we'll be using a module called as Pi Audio. So Pi Audio doesn't come pre-installed with uh, Python. So you can just run pip install Pi Audio. And once you get that, you're good to go. So after that, let's jump over to a new Python file. Like always, we are going to start off with our imports. Import numpy as np import pi audio as pa import struct so struct is basically used for converting the data from the binaries returned from the pi audio into integers that will be later displayed on the plots import matplotlib dot pi plot as plt then uh, next we have to declare some variables so chunk is equal to 1024 times 2 this is the number of samples that will be plotted per second then format is equal to pa dot no small p int 16 it's a small p with the capital i then channel is equal to one. It's because uh, we are using a single mic and the number of channels is one. And uh, rate, this is the sampling rate of the audio. We will choose the most common rate that is uh, 44.1 kilohertz or 4400 in hertz. Next, we will declare a class object P equals PA dot pi audio and then we declare another object called as stream stream equals p dot open and we have to pass on some parameters to it so format equals format channels equals channels then rate equals rate input equals true output equals true there is another thing called as frames per buffer this should be equal to chunk so frames per buffer equals chunk so the next thing we need to do is read the data from the microphone. So in order to do that, declare a variable called as data. Data equals stream dot read. And pass on the chunk size to it. So when I run the program, you should be able to see binary data. Oh, I did not use the print statement. So print print data so when i run the program now you should be able to see the binary output or the hexadecimal output from the microphone this hexadecimal data has to be converted to integers to be displayed on the plot so in order to do that we'll use struct so declare a new variable data int 
data int equals struct dot unpack so inside this you have to pass on two variables one is the data itself and the second is the type of the data so you have to pass on the type of the data in the form of a string so str chunk plus h so h denotes the type of the data and chunk denotes the size of the data h stands for 16 bit integers and then the data itself so when i print the new data you will be able to see the integer values of the data recorded as you can see so the next thing we need to do is actually plot this data onto the graph using matplotlib so type fig comma ax equals plt dot subplots and then x equals np dot arrange and start the starting as zero stop as two times the chunk size and step size as 2 so that we get even number of steps then line comma equals ax dot plot x comma np dot random dot rand and chunk comma r so before sending the values to the graph we have to initialize the values we have to initialize the graph so we are passing a random values so that the graph is initialized then type fig dot show what this does is it opens up a new window shows you the figure and exits it's so fast that you will not be able to see the window so what you have to do now is to create a loop while one or true and take these two lines cut it from here and paste them inside the loop and then type line dot set underscore y data and pass the integer values of the data then type fig dot canvas dot draw and fig dot canvas dot flush underscore events we are using this method instead of fig dot show because updating the already open plot is way faster than closing and reopening the plot these two lines just updates the existing plot instead of reopening them so now when i run the program i should be able to see the graph open up okay i know why this is happening you can see the range of y axis is from 0 to 1 but our data is 16 bit so we need to change the scale of y to do that just before the fig dot show command type ax dot set y limb minus 60000 to 60000 you can set it to at least from minus 32,000 to 32,000 for a proper plot and then type ax dot set underscore xlim from 0 to chunk and now when you run the program it should run just perfectly any doubts and corrections do comment about them hit the like button and subscribe button as well all of the code is available on my website. A link to that will be given in the description.